So here's where I really decided to turn it up, right? So I was, again, 15, 16, coming off my first pack and it opened my eyes to what the drug game possibly had in store for me. And me and my same friend, Daniel Pettis, used to walk through the town. And I'm still trying to play basketball, still not committed to that lifestyle of selling drugs. But as we're going from the basketball court and we're broke and, you know, trying to scrounge up some money for some Pizza Hut cheese sticks, just something to snack on. Just walking through the town, we get stopped by three and four and five different adults and people that we grew up with, that we, you know, called our uncles and aunts and people that were friends of our uncles, aunts and parents. And they were like, hey, young blood, you got something? Hey, young blood, I got 50. Hey, young blood, I got 20. I got 40. I got 100. And we would count how much money we were missing by not having drugs. And so I remember being on North Bridge Street in my town, walking with Daniel with a basketball in my hand. It's so funny how my mind, like, has compartmentalized these, these actual vivid images. And I remember talking to him and walking and saying, you know, my stepfather was just making 3000 you know, a little under 3000 a month working for the county recycling. And I was like, man, all I need to make is 100 a day. I can make as much as my dad. We just had five people stop us. We could have made 300 today. And so my first goal when I entered the drug game it wasn't to be the dope boy extraordinaire. It wasn't for big cars and watches and, and, and nothing fancy. All I wanted was 100 a day. That was it. All I wanted was $100 a day. And I knew I could live better than what I've been living. I saw my stepfather provide for our family of six off 3000 a month working for the county recycling on the back of the recycling truck. So for me at 15, 16 years old, calculating 100 a day, I saw where I could provide a whole other income for my family. Or at least take me out of the expense column for my family. And so my ambition in the drug game it simply started at 100 a day. And I remember getting my first $50 and going to Plainfield, New Jersey on a train from Somerville, New Jersey. And I found uh, one of the girls, a girl I was dating out of Plainfield, one of the twins. She had a twin sister. And Daniel and I both were going to see her and her sister. And this is when Biggie was out. This was like life after death was out. And it was like, I'm in danger. Ain't too many to get bang with with us. us. Straight up, we don't hang us. Label us, us. story us. us. Right. I want to train, I'm listening to Bone and Biggie, and I'm listening to Ten Crack Commandments, and right, and I'm just starting to get into coke games, so I'm feeling hype now, like I'm selling drugs, Biggie rapping about drugs, right, Nas rapping about drugs, so I'll take my $50, and I go to a, 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 a one of the kings who's a cousin of these twins, so we ask the twins, like, you know, who got drugs, because in Plainfield, you can get a double up, right, we call it a wholesale, and so we could double your money, so I went to Plainfield, and I gave her cousin the fifty dollars, and he gave me some bottles, and he gave me two hundred, you know, a hundred dollars worth of bottles. So I got off the train, right, went back to Somerville, New Jersey, my hometown. And as soon as I got off the train, I ran into JP, right? He's one of our. He's actually a guy I grew up under. He's like my grandfather's friend, but he was getting high. So these are all people I knew growing up as a young kid. They're all now getting high because of crack, the crack epidemic. So I served JP, said, y'all got some white boys around back, man. They want six for 100. I'm like, man, all I got is 100. So he bought everything I had. So my 15-year-old, 16-year-old self, I'm in awe right now. Now, mind you, this is at a period where I dropped out of high school. So I should be in school right now, but I had dropped out. So now I'm living at Daniel's house, and I'm bouncing from house to house trying to figure out my way. And so I made $100 or a $50 profit off one train ride and had to go back on a train now to get another double up off my hundred and I started that route of doubling my money taking the train at 15 16 years old to Plainfield getting money come back into my town and selling and starting to make money for myself I will later that summer decide to go back to high school re-enrolled into the summer program and it was going into start my senior year in high school at 16 but I'd already got hit to the streets and I got some more stories on that because this is where I truly learned to outwork the work, 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 work.